Buenos dias. Good morning. Start of a new week. Start of a new chapter. Up. Oh, Got to tell you again. Put it in your calendars. Look at it and pray. Seriously, pray about this. Fan the flame. National conference for pastors, leaders, staff, wives, and interested Christians who love their Bible and want to see God do more through them in the days that we live in. Come on. We all have a flame inside of us, the flame of the Holy Spirit. Let's ask God to help us to fan it. Uh, it begins on Friday morning at 1030, registration from 8 to 1030, then up to lunch, then two hours for lunch. We're going to give you 25 restaurants uh, walking distance from the church that you have lunch. You'll meet new friends. Uh, if you're single, hey, who knows? You never know. Only joking. And um, then two sessions on Friday afternoon. Dinner is off. Friday night is off. Then Saturday, two sessions in the morning. Lunch again at the restaurant of your choice. Then two more sessions in the afternoon. Great speakers from around the country, and then you're off in the for dinner and Saturday night, Sunday morning, stay over. And if you come to either the 9 or the 12 or both, we will have the church pray for you, your ministry, your church, your small group, whatever. Come on. Bring red velvet cake with you if you come. That'll give you a choice seat in the auditorium. Only joking. Um, no, seriously, pray about that. You know what it's based on? No fancy teaching. Listen, if teaching and preaching alone would have done it, don't you think America would be different today? No, I mean, let's be real. As they say on Fulton Street, let's do real talk. We need something, we need something from heaven. Agreed upon? Something from heaven. Oh, you don't believe anything can come from heaven? Then I have nothing really to say from you. I still believe in the power of the Holy Spirit to send revival revival for your church. Represent your church. Represent your family. Come and represent your wayward child. Just come. The Am I trying to make money? The registration fee is a hundred bucks. That won't even cover the speakers, but you know what? We're, we're going to do it. So go to the brooklyntabernacle.org, look for Fan the Flame Conference, and see you in April. Chapter 2, 2 Peter, but there were also false prophets. He just talked about the validity of real scripture inspired by God, not man-made, not man-generated. And now we're going to get into the major thrust of the letter. But there were, but, in, in contradistinction to real scripture, but there were also false prophets among the people in the Old Testament time, just as there will be false prophets teachers among you. They will secretly introduce destructive heresies, even denying the sovereign Lord who bought them, bringing swift destruction on themselves. Oh, wow. Hello. Wake up. I just heard an alarm go off. Did you hear that alarm? Notice these emphatic statements. There were false prophets in the Old Testament. You can read about them. They drew bigger crowds than the true prophets. Oh, yeah, read that. Read in Isaiah, Jeremiah, especially Jeremiah, Ezekiel. The ones who really gave the true word of the Lord were not only drawing smaller crowds. Many times they were persecuted and thrown in a pit because lies sell better with carnal people than true men and women of God who speak the truth as it is in this case in the New Testament as it is in Jesus. So let's remember that. Don't go by numbers. It must be real. Look at all the people who come. So, there were false prophets, and just as there will be false teachers among you. Well, I don't receive that. Well, you better receive it, because God-inspired Scripture says there will be false teachers among you. Bringing in destructive heresies. We'll get that. False doctrine. We'll get to that. There will be false teachers among you. Among who? Who's you? The Christians. Christian churches. There'll be false teachers. Just as in the Old Testament, there were, Satan sent people in telling lies and very deceptive and clever. These false teachers are no joke. They are clever. 
They're salesmen, saleswomen. They got, and they're going to mention God and they're going to mention Jesus. You think if they came in and say, hey, listen, I want you to follow my teachings. Thus saith the devil. Of course not. That would get everybody like, get out of here. So they're talking God, they're talking Jesus, not the God of the Bible, not the Jesus of the New Testament. They're, 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 they're in communion with the Holy Spirit, but not the Spirit. Second Corinthians te te tells us, Paul said that's what was happening in the church in Corinth. You, you've received a Jesus, but not the one I told you about. No, 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 no. You got another Jesus. You got a Dallas Cowboy Jesus, right wing Jesus, black Jesus. Puerto Rican Jesus, Latino Jesus, CNN Jesus, whatever. There's a thousand Jesuses, but there's only one true one. And you only know that by knowing about them through the word of God and experience being born again, where your life is changed because fake Jesus don't change your life. So there will be false teachers among you. Counterfeiting the Holy Spirit, counterfeiting prophecy, the Lord, wait, the Lord just told me there's a thousand of you that are supposed to give me $5,000. Sow that seed. Sow that seed. Right now, go to your phones. The operators are waiting. What a joke. What a bunch of con artists. They're going to make merchandise of you, we're going to learn. But there will be false teachers among you. So how would you know false teaching? Only one way. You have to know true teaching. People who spot counterfeit bills, you know what they study? They don't study counterfeit bills. They study the real bill. They study it. They know every millimeter of that thing, the $100 bill, which is the most commonly counterfeited one. Why? They know it so well that when something comes in that's not the real, they go, whoa, wait a minute, that's not right. No, some, that's not right. Let's compare. That's how it is with us. We got to know the truth as it is in Jesus. We got to know the new covenant as found in the New Testament. We've got to know the promises of God. We got to know what the Bible says about Jesus, Holy Spirit, death, the cross, heaven, hell. Is it real? We got to read the scriptures. Then we can pick up the false teachers. Biblical illiteracy is the hunting ground for false teachers and false prophets. People who don't know the Bible. Did you know when I went in the ministry, there was a program, this a long time ago. Uh, I went in the ministry and there were TV programs on selling a bill of goods, just deceptive, joking around, mocking, but it was all with Jesus and God, but it was always get the money. You can always tell they're going to get to the money. We'll learn more about that this week. And um, there was one famous couple on TV, and they had a program, and they were taking it at one time a million dollars a day. Back when a million dollars was a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of money. Okay? They were totally a joke. And they didn't teach what's in the Bible. But gullible people were going along with it. So, and then it was all revealed as a hoax and bad living, which we're going to learn, usually goes with false teachers. I had a drug addict come in to my office back in that day and say, yo, pastor, so I saw a TV, this program. Doesn't everybody know that's a lie, that the guy's a con artist and his wife too? Don't they see that? And I said, how do you know? I know, I'm a drug addict. That means I'm a liar. All drug addicts are liars. So I know a con because I'm a con artist. How would I not know a con? That guy's a con. They don't. And I thought to myself, what verse do I find in the Bible where unbelievers are spotting con artists and so-called believers are writing checks for $10,000? You can't make it up. So let's start today. Come on. It's the only day we are live. Let's dig into this word and know what the Bible teaches so that we can spot the false teachers who are with us and probably more on their way. God be with you and protect you. See you tomorrow. Amen.